beautiful day at Pennington Place. I just wanted to give you a quick update of Tech Rabbitry. We've got some new litters born. Um, this is Dottie, our New Zealand. She uh, is our best one here. I'm going to scoot her out of the way and I'm going to pull these babies out for you to take a look at. These, this is our newest batch of babies. Dottie's got some amazing babies in here. Dot Dot. We'll start with the little broken blacks. They're so darn cute. I just love these little broken things. She does really well with her little broken babies. Got the little butterfly nose. How cute is that? Um, and she's never really thrown any solid blacks before. And she's got some nice looking blacks here. We are currently trying to get a nice good solid black buck to add to the rabbitry um, just because we are trying some different things to make our brokens better um, and she actually threw some nice little whites too she's got one little broken in here I know dot dot Dean dots like hey to my babies I know dot dot she's got seven of them in there she's a good mama these babies are all going to do well but you can kind of see them I can get some light in there. They're all nuzzled in. They're finally getting their hair. So they've got a little bit of hair, not a lot. It's going to take a couple more days to get all that hair in good. Her pinks are still kind of pinky. And there we go. Okay, and I'll okay, move This is Edie. She's an American chinchilla. Um, Edie does well with having babies. She's the best chinchilla we have as far as having babies. And it's a little warm today, so they're not in the box. They're all scrunched up right here in the, in the middle between the box and the, the middle bar here. But she always has beautiful, big, fat babies. Their eyes just open. They're just now getting in and out of the box. They're not really eating food or drinking a lot of water. They're still nursing pretty good. But, um, yeah, this is where it all starts. They get curious and they start coming out. And then they start getting curious about the food. So purebred American chinchillas, beautiful little babies. A lot of people don't get into the chinchillas in this area. Um, we don't sell a lot of them, but I still breed them because I have a passion for them because I think they're beautiful. Um, some are dark, some are lighter. Uh, some of them have a thicker, fuzzier fur. Some of them have a, a shinier, uh, thinner coat. Um, those are your variations. Uh, a true chinchilla should have a thicker, furrier coat, should have darker tones to it. Um, when you get and blow up under the fur, you should see you should see nice rings. Let's see if I can do it with him. You should see that dark underneath that gets lighter as it comes out beautiful beautiful babies this is Urena, our purebred californian doe beautiful girl good mama um, her babies are a little bit older now they're starting to come out they're starting to eat a tiny bit of food not much um, in a few days i imagine they'll be picking up more food there's one in the box still where it's nice and comfy and the others are all out kind of exploring cooling off enjoying the day <laughs> their little ears are starting to turn gray in their noses and as they get older of course the, the ears and the noses get darker than turn black this is Rosie um, Rosie was on the last video she had just had her baby she's a Dutch she's a pure Dutch she had four babies and now they're big enough eyes are open they're coming out there eating she's got two golds and two of the torts I don't know what you call it Rooster just has to has to be noisy today sorry about that a two look just like mom and then two of the golds, but they're out, they're moving, they're eating, they're doing really well. They're close to being weaned at this point. Now this one is the one I'm excited about because all along I've talked about how I love my brokens and we're working really hard to get our own line of broken reds. Well, we've come close, but we haven't quite gotten the red collar right, but I think we finally found our combination of who we breed with whom to get what we need, get what we want. So this is Noelle, she is a red New Zealand, uh, purebred 
beautiful girl, great mama, good attitude. She she's just wonderful, and she does really well. Um, most of her litters are usually six to eight. Uh, one litter she threw was three, but a lot of times it's mostly just reds that she throws. But this time, this time is a little different. So Noelle, I'm gonna pull babies out, sweetie. I just gonna pull the babies out. I just gonna look. I'm very excited with this little batch here because in this little batch we have we finally have our broken red we finally have it look at that it's not perfect but we finally know where we're going to get our broken reds from um, she had one two three four five six seven babies we got one broken uh, a typical standard broken and then we have three let me pull this other little guy out and they're not so little she always has big babies we have three of them that are considered their booted or their blanket because they have a little bit of broken see that more than 50 percent of their body is collar is red which uh doesn't make them show quality but they're good breeding they're good breeding stock this one a good red collar got some good marks on her so you know I don't know if this is a boy or a girl but as it grows if it's a girl and we add her to the brood stock um, she definitely is going to give us more of what we want in the brokens for the reds and the babies are all coming forward they're like don't hold me but you can touch me they're so darn cute I love that broken red I just love it beautiful and I'm so excited because we've finally succeeded in what we've been looking for so I'm hoping this is the beginning of our new line of broken reds I'm hoping that we only get better with these guys um, I don't know the reds are just beautiful I love the reds and I'm the reds tend to have a better personality I am finding we've been doing this a couple years now and I fell in love with the broken blacks I'm finding that I'm struggling with my broken blacks and their personalities. Uh, I don't know if it's just the broken blacks. Let me slide this back in here. Okay, Mama, here's your babies. Here's your babies, Mama. There we go. There we go, Noelle. There's your babies. But I'm finding with the broken blacks that for some reason, their personalities, they're not as nice like okay i'm gonna bring you here this is ashley i'm not even gonna open ashley's cage because ashley she got little babies in there there's one uh, inside the nest box and there's a few behind it i can't check her babies every day like i really should because ashley is aggressive um all my broken blacks ashley's aggressive the others don't really like to be messed with they let me do it but i can't pet them i can't form a bond with them because they're not as friendly and I don't know if it's the broken black just as a breed something about them I'm not sure so hopefully I can figure that out um, we've kept a few of our own broken blacks that we've bred like here's one this is cinder and cinder's not that bad cinder I can go in I can touch her I can I can do her babies and she's okay so I don't know is it nurture over nature I don't know I try I've, I've gotten all my broken blacks as adults and I've tried handling them I've tried touching them every single day and they're just not given an inch to me uh, Cinder was out of a litter so she's used to us we've handled her every day we've touched her um, so it could be just nurture over nature I don't know but we'll have to investigate this because at this point I'm starting to think maybe the mean ones like Ashley, we don't really need them to be in our our breeding program just because it is harder to check the babies, make sure they're healthy, make sure you know everything's are taken care of. So I got some thinking to do as far as where I'm going to go with the rabbitry and what I want to do and, and what our future is because uh, I love the broken blacks but at the same time. I don't like fighting with the mamas and I don't like being afraid of getting bit constantly uh, just to make sure babies are okay and everybody's healthy and doing well. So that is our update.
on our rabbit tree. I'll take you down here real quick. And we'll give you a quick update with Charlie and her beautiful babies. Charlie is, of course, the English spot Dutch mix. And she's wonderful. She's a wonderful pet rabbit. And these rabbits sell real easy for pets because they're very friendly. They're very friendly rabbits, just like Mama. Mama's not afraid and babies aren't afraid. They're beautiful rabbits. She always does a lot of Charlies, and I think the Charlies are just beautiful. Uh, I'm hoping in our, our red program of breeding that we end up with a Charlie red. That would be nice because a Charlie red to a solid, I'm hearing the Charlies are less than 10% of collar on their body. I'm hearing a lot of breeders say that the Charlie reds, if you breed them to a solid red, you will get all brokens in your litter. So I'm kind of anxious to see where the rabbitry goes and what we get. So you have a beautiful day. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, all of you guys out there with your own rabbitries, love your bunnies. Keep it going. Have a great day. Bye-bye.